Hi, in this video we're going to go ahead and show some of the features of the application we just built, specifically slicing the data, filtering the data, looking at a couple different outputs. Okay, so let's begin. I'm back. I'm in preview mode of the application. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start slicing the data here. So for example, I can, you know, select show genre. I can click on the drop down and do, let's let's just look at the films for English for now, okay? So it shows me you know, this is the number of unique sh shows, in this case, films we have, the total weekly hours viewed, and then we can go ahead and look at, okay, so here's a list of the shows here in the top 10, okay? But let's say, I, you know, we our data includes um, weeks over a span of a period of time. So let's say I just want to look at 2022 as an example. So I'll go ahead and change this date. I can use the slider, select a specific date. I'll start with January 1st, 2022, and it shows me all the data to the end of June, uh, of the end of December. Okay, so it shows me by week, each week, what the shows that are categorized as the film films English. Okay, <clears throat> if I like, I can even select as I'm on this page. I can click on, for example, the Adam Project here. It knows what it does. It just it grays out kind of or, or makes the rest of the the shows a little lighter color and just focuses on the end of project showing me how many views it got as a top ten as well as by week the views. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this and click it uh click everything uh back to normal okay so but let's say i want to continue to analyze the atom project so i'll go over here and under shows and film i'll click here and i'll type in the at the atom project i'll select it okay so now it just filters on that specific show okay for the this time period of 2022 i'm going to go ahead and click on rankings <clears throat> and as you can see what it shows it shows hey as a number, when it ranked number one, the total numbers are ranked number one, it got 2.3 billion views. And likewise, ranked number two, it got 0 0.01 billion views and so on and so forth. Over here on the right, it says, hey, for this for this particular film, here it is, here it is by week, the number of hours viewed, again, as a, as a global top 10 um, show. And then each week it shows what the ranking was. So, you know, we week of March 7th, it got a one, week of March 14th, it got a one. And obviously, as the weeks progressed into the future, the show rankings increased or basically, you know, went uh, went down in theory, in theory to, as you can see, an eight. Okay. All right. Now, let's look at one more thing. Let's look at the raw data for the show. I can click on raw data. And it shows here by the show you know, obviously the genre, and it shows each week the hours viewed, again, as a top 10 and the weekly ranking. So, for example, looking here, we got a, you know, four weeks at rank number one, okay, as a film English. Let's go back to rankings for a minute, though. We can see this, too, as well. I can click here on this one and notice what it shows here. It shows on the right. It shows, hey, here, you know, you clicked here and it shows for four weeks it got a ranking of a one. And, you know, here were the views by week. OK, so we can also do, you know, multiple particular titles, let's say. So, for example, I can clear this. Clear here. You know, and we'll, think, and we'll focus on 2022. So I've cleared all my slicers out. So I'm back to everything selected. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select. A show. I'll do multiple shows this time. I'll type in Despicable Me, and I'll look and notice as I type it kind of filters it out for me. So I'll click on Despicable Me 1. I'll click Control and click on this, hold down the Control key, click Despicable Me 2. So now I'm looking at both of the movies. And you can kind of see here, it shows me by, again, by ranking here. It looks like it's kind of interesting. It looks like when it ranked nine, it got the highest amount of views, okay? But for that week, it ranked nine. So maybe there was other films that week that got more views, okay? But let's take a look. Let's take a look at the raw data. Okay, so I'm going to click on raw data. And it shows me, you know, again, for each of the weeks, it was a top 10. It shows me the weekly hours viewed in the rank. So I can go ahead and even sort these. I'll just click on the column header 
an arrow key here and it'll show it oh, oh, ranks it here from highest to lowest okay and again i can click on weak ranking same thing it shows me again from highest so when it was a 10 it got this many views but notice when it was a nine it was a nine for a few weeks both movies actually were a nine so hence the reason why i had so many views for a ranking of a nine okay so again you can filter out by specific shows if you want to compare different shows and whatnot to each other i can go even to a home page let's see how we did here as a visual here obviously back looks like back in february early march the show got high the movie got higher views and then as as the months progressed on in the future got lower views as again as a top 10. let's do another another um analysis here i can actually go ahead and pick a specific week and why don't we just keep it simple we'll pick the we'll go to the last week of the year here and we'll look at the last week of the year so notice this is interesting because remember on the website it showed you had to look at each different genre different web page for the genre this shows you all four genres here and by far looks like the film glass onion here got the highest you know glass onion and nice out mystery got the highest amount of of hours viewed that week okay and so the views but i could say you know what I, you know let's look at um the tv shows for that week okay and again notice what it did it it, it kind of made all the other shows and genres and whatnot a lighter color and it showed me that only these tv shows it shows me the higher you know um rankings it shows me the analysis it looks like wednesday season one got the most views for that week um i could even mouse over to specifically and it shows me you know this is 10396 this one here emily in paris got nine five five three and obviously the visualization rounds off okay so let's you look at specific you can look at specific weeks and again i can click on the raw data for example and look at the raw data here for that specific week here of all the you know shows here again i didn't filter out notice here i didn't use the slicer to filter out that show notice when i returned it shows again all the genres okay before i filtered out by the one genre um and then when I return to go to a, uh, another page, it it, <clears throat> it shows all the genres, all the shows it, by the slicer. So keep that in mind. If I click here, it's not going to carry over to the other pages, okay? So if I really want to look at the TV English, I'm going to have to unclick here, so to speak, and go here and click on TV English. Now that locks it in, okay? So when I move over to the rankings page, when I move over to the raw data page, it's locked in, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clear this out. Clicking the eraser, clear sections on the top of the visualization. And now another analysis we could do, let's look at the show. We'll do um, Wednesday, Wednesday season one again, okay? We'll do that show. And notice here what we could do is we could say, okay, for the week of November 21st, it got 0.34 billion views. And over here, it got 4.1 billion views the next week. So we could say, hey, that's about a variance of about 0.04 billion views. So we could see, we can even tell what the increase or decrease is, the variance is between weeks if we need to do that. One more thing we could do, we could talk about some output functionality. Let's say, for example, I'm going to take a look again. I'm going to go and focus on... Let's focus on the last week of this uh, of 2022. So we'll start with November 27th, and we'll go all the way to oh, we'll go November 27th as our starting point, and then we'll click here. And we'll go all the way over to December 26th. Okay, so we got the the last weeks of the year in perspective so let's say you know you want to 
you know, look at some of these visualizations. I can look at this one, for example. I can click the focus mode here, and it makes it a larger visualization for us, okay? So obviously, if you look at this carefully, you know, again, if you if you think about it, you know, each each genre has a top 10. So there's a variety, and for each week, so there's a variety of different shows that can fall in that top 10. So it looks like by far, the, the show Wednesday was by far the highest show that got the most weekly hours viewed of all the of all four genres. Okay. Now, what else I can do if I wanted to is I can go ahead and see these three dots here. I can click here and I can do show data as a table. It shows us as a looks like almost like a pivot table here. Okay, showing us the show title and then obviously the genre here. Okay. So as you can see, there's a lot of different, considering the visualizations we have and the data we have, there's a lot of ways you can analyze this data of the Netflix Global Top 10. So thank you for watching this video.